Welcome friends. Topic of today's video is Dependent of Pancreas and Hemorrhagical Basis of Annular Pancreas. The pancreas depressed from two endodermal parts that depressed from the developing gut that will in future forms the second part of the donor. So let us consider by drawing a diagram if this is the developing gut that will form the second part of the donor. This is the dorsal aspect of this developing gut. This is the ventral aspect of this developing gut. On the dorsal aspect of the developing gut lies the mesodunum. So this is the mesodunum. On the ventral aspect of the developing gut develops an endodermal bud that is known as the hepatic bud from which the liver will develop. Now let us look where the two endodermal buds that is the ventral bud and the dorsal bud develops. The ventral bud develops in the angle between the hepatic bud and the developing gut here on the ventral aspect. So this is the ventral bud. And the dorsal bud arises on the dorsal aspect of the developing bud just opposite to the ventral bud in the dorsal mesodurnum. Okay, so this is the dorsal bud and this one was the ventral bud. Actually, this ventral bud is composed of two components, a right portion and a left portion. Right portion and a left portion. This right and left portion during development will fuse together to form one bud that is the ventral bud. Now let us consider that we have taken a section at this level and seeing this section from the above. So this will be the duodenum, cut section of the duodenum. On the ventral aspect will be the ventral bud and on the dorsal aspect will be the dorsal bud. As during development, the duodenum rotates or shift towards the right till an angle of 90 degree. So this will rotate towards the right till 90 degree. Due to this rotation of duodenum to 90 degree, the ventral bud as well as the dorsal bud will also rotate 90 degree. Therefore, the ventral bud will come to lie on the right side and the dorsal bud will come to lie on the left side. This is the left side and this is the right side. During further development, there is differential growth in the duodenal wall that is in this portion, there will be more growth. As compared to other regions, there will be less growth. Due to the more growth here in this part, this will lead to expansion of this area and this will push the ventral bud backwards towards the dorsal bud. Therefore, the ventral bud will rotate towards the dorsal bud and come to lie below this dorsal bud in the left side. If we see in another view, that is literally, if this is the developing gut, this is the dorsal bud on the left side and below this will lie the ventral bud. These two buds will form the pancreatic tissue which will fuse together as one mass and will form the pancreas. Now, let us see which part of the pancreas is formed by which bud? So, if this is the pancreas, this is the head of the pancreas, this is the unseen process, this is the body and this is the tail of the pancreas. I am correlating this picture with this picture. We can say that the lower part of the head and the unseen process is formed by the ventral bud which is lying below the dorsal bud 
and the remaining upper part of the head and the body and the tail of the pancreas is formed by the dorsal bud. Okay, so we have seen how the pancreas developed from these two buds. Now we will see how the ductal system of the pancreas is formed. For that, let us consider this is the developing gut. This is the duct of the dorsal bud. Here, yeah. duct of the dorsal bud. And below this will be the duct of the ventral bud. Here. Yeah. During further development, both these duct will fuse together or anastomose with each other. Okay. Now, this portion of the duct of the dorsal bud, this will narrow, will become narrow and will open at the level of minor duodenal papilla in the duodenum. and will form the accessory pancreatic duct. Okay, and the remaining portion, that is the distal portion of the duct of the dorsal bud, the anastomosis and the whole of the duct of the ventral bud will form the main pancreatic duct, which will open at the level of major duodenal capilla. Okay, so this is the main pancreatic duct. Which is formed by the distal portion of the duct of the dorsal bud the anastomosis and whole of the duct of the ventral bud and the accessory pancreatic duct is formed by the proximal portion of the duct of the dorsal bud. Okay. Now, the endocrine portion as well as the exocrine portion of the pancreas that is the exocrine that is the acini, serious acini and the endocrine portion that is the islet of the Langerhans. is formed by the proliferation of these ducts. So these two are derived from endoderm. Since both these ducts are developed from the developing gut which is actually derived from endoderm. And the remaining connective tissue or the stroma of the pancreas is formed from the surrounding mesoderm. Now, let us look on to the embryological basis of annular pancreas. Let us consider a situation in which this two portion of the ventral bud, that is the right portion and the left portion, has not fused together to form the ventral bud and the right portion of the ventral bud will undergo the normal course of the ventral bud and will come to life below the dorsal bud and the left portion will undergo an opposite course and again will come to lie below the dorsal bud. Now we can see here that these two rotation in one in the routine manner and another one in the opposite manner has led to the encircling of the second part of the donor. So here it will become like this that is if this is the developing donor second part of donor the pancreas will totally encircle it, totally encircle it and can cause compression of the second part of the duodenum. This condition is known as annular pancreas. Okay. A note to remember is that, that the Islet of the pancreas will start secreting insulin at approximately three months of fetal life or intrauterine life. So we have seen how the 
uh, development of pancreas has occurred from the ventral bud and the dorsal bud how the rotation of the ventral bud and the dorsal bud has occurred due to the rotation of the duodenum how the rotation of the ventral bud below the dorsal bud due to the differential growth of the duodenal wall has occurred which part of the pancreas is formed by which bud how the ductal system of the pancreas is formed what is the embryological basis of elder pancreas and at which month the insulin will start secreting so this is the development of the pancreas and the embryological basis of elder pancreas thank you very much